Have you ever become frustrated because it seems like there's a hole at the bottom of your bank account? If that's you, Copilot Money might be your solution. Copilot is one of the most hyped up budgeting apps with a sleek Apple-esque design that helps users track their money across all of their accounts. I've personally always budgeted using a monthly spreadsheet where I manually track all my expenses, but I've always been curious, does paying for a budgeting app actually make any sense? Are they really that good? So after holding out for a while, I have decided that for the next month, I'm going to try out Copilot through the one month free trial to see if at the end, I really think it's worth the money. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the setup process, all of Copilot's features, and give my general first impressions. This is not a sponsored video, so these are my real honest thoughts about the app, and I will tell you if I think it sucks. Before we talk about the features, let's talk accessibility, which is two parts. As I mentioned, I'm doing this experiment using the app's one month free trial. However, after that period, it costs $95 a year if paid annually, or $13 a month if paid monthly, which is $156 for the year. So needless to say, it's not cheap. Additionally, Copilot is only available for Apple users through Mac OS and iOS. So if you're on PC and Android, you're out of luck when it comes to Copilot. Now, when you first download the app, whether that's on Mac or iOS, it will prompt you through the setup of your account. This starts with linking all of your accounts from banks to retirement accounts, to investments, to credit cards, the whole thing. It even allows you to use manually added accounts if you have an account that can't link to the app or if you wanna track the price of your car or whatnot. You add your accounts mostly using Plaid as the intermediary, while some other accounts are connected via other integrations. From my experience, this allowed me to connect every account I wanted to, including my smaller credit union. You're then prompted to choose which notifications you want turned on, and they have a variety of different options from notifying you when you get paid to notifications that tell you how well you're doing at sticking to your budget. Obviously, you can also opt for no notification if that's more your style. The next step of the process walks you through the three types of transactions, but we will touch on that a bit later. And after that, it prompts you to sign up for the free trial and enter your payment details. Now, once your accounts are linked and you've set up payment, it allows you to begin setting up your finances. It automatically goes through all your accounts and begins to categorize spending, investing, and saving. When I went through this step, I hadn't yet linked my credit cards, which is what I use for almost all my payments. So this was a very rough outline that I had to correct later, but this is more a user error than the app's fault. I spent a little bit of time correcting it on the setup screen, but found it easier to fix when I actually loaded in the full app experience. And with that, you've set up your account. For me, this was a simple process and I had minimal hiccups really other than that fixing of the budget. So I would give the ease of setup 4.5 stars. Now that we have set everything up, when we log into the app, we are greeted with the dashboard. And right away, you can see why people really like this app. It's got a great aesthetic and makes all the aspects of your finances very clear. So looking at the dashboard, you can see that it summarizes your monthly spending, which is showing you how much you've spent compared to your budgeted amount. It shows you your net worth, which shows you your assets and your debt. Then it shows you your transactions to review, which is where all of your transactions come through so that you can code them so that Copilot knows how to code them in the future automatically, which is super, super helpful. And then off to the right, you'll see your top category spent. So it's at the beginning of the month so far. So you can see the categories I've spent my money in so far, which is pretty simple. And it's nice to see because you can see how much you spent and how much you have budgeted. Now, next up, it shows you your cash flow for the month, which shows you how much money you've actually made this month. For example, since it's just the beginning of the month and I haven't been paid, it shows me at negative $496 because I haven't had my income come in yet. But in theory, once I get that income in, it will go down and it will actually be a positive number. And then another part of the screen over here, it shows you your recurring transactions over the next two weeks. So you can see I have a Paramount Plus subscription, I have a Peacock subscription, and then I also have the donations that I make to my church. And then down here, you also have your goals, which I haven't set any up yet, but we can touch on that in a little bit. And that's the main dashboard. So moving in, we get to our transactions. And this is where you see the screen that shows all of your transactions and the transaction type. So for example, my first transaction on here is Chipotle. I got it, I spent $6.57 and it's categorized to food. But if I wanted to change it to something else, it'd be very, very simple. Then you'll see here that there's money from my savings, money from my checking to my savings account which Copilot knows to code as an internal transfer, which is what this T means. And then over here, you also see my online deposit from 
some money I made and it shows as income, Copilot automatically detected that transaction and knew it was income. So yep, this is the transaction screen. And then if we go on to our goals, you could add a new goal up here. You can do an emergency fund. Let's say you haven't built your emergency fund up. It can help you track towards that. It can help you track towards a vacation. For example, if I hit like a vacation fund and let's say I want to spend $2,000 on a vacation, it will show you, it will walk you through. And yeah, so example, then you come to your cash flow screen, which I touched on earlier on the dashboard, but this is showing you all of your income and this is showing it for the whole year. So it's saying that I've made $20,000 over the course of the year, income wise, minus all of my expenses. And then you'll see over here, it shows my spend, which is at $40,000 for the year and my income of $60,000 so far for the year. Moving on, we have our account section, which this is where it shows, again, your net worth, but this is also where you have all of your linked accounts. So I have all of my credit cards, I have all my savings and checking account, I have my investments, I have my car and everything like that here. And then on the right, you'll see it's showing me in my credit card section what I've spent on my cards and it shows me which card they're even spent on, which is super nice. And then we have our investments. Which this shows you your investment balance with a live estimate. So right now it's saying I have $75,000 in investments and I'm down 0.26% on the day. And then it shows me my top movers from Bitcoin, Berkshire Hathaway. Um, it goes through all my accounts. It shows my allocation by what I'm invested in. It shows me all, me all my holdings. It shows me my Bitcoin portfolio on the right. Lots of stuff, very useful, very nice to see all in one dashboard. And then you get to your categories and this is your budget. And so here it shows me how much I've spent in November compared to my total budget. And then again, you can see all the categories I have budgeted for the month. So for example, if I wanted to edit my fun category and rename it, it'd be super easy and I could just name it fun and others. And then I could also even change this emoji if I wanted to, but I don't. So that's just for an example, but super easy to customize. You can also change if you want to budget it the same for every month or if you have different budgets per month. For example, if one month you're going traveling, you might have budgeted money for traveling, but you don't want that every month. So this is a really, really nice feature and it shows that they've really thought through all of these things. And then finally, you get down to your recurring payments, which this, again, it's got all your subscriptions. You categorize which ones these are, and it's super easy to do. And so you can see all my subscriptions here from my gym to my streaming services, all of that. And it shows it on a bi-weekly recurring basis over here on the right, and super easy. Now, that's the complete overview of the desktop app, but we can also show you what it looks like on your phone in app which is gonna show you all the same things, but real quickly, we'll just run through it on the phone. So just like the desktop app, you'll see that it starts with your dashboard, which shows you all the same things from your budget to your categories to your cash flow, everything like that. And then you go off to the right, it shows you your categories, showing you your budget breakdown. It's got your recurring transactions, just like the desktop app, and also your goals. And then if we go back over to the left, it shows you all of your transactions, it shows you your investments, shows you your accounts and your net worth, and then finally, it shows you your cash flow for the month. So that's the complete overview of the Copilot app. And overall, my first impression is that it's a great app and everything seems very intuitive. So I'm excited to see how well the app tracks everything over the next month. However, I am still on the fence if paying for a budgeting app is really worth it since the whole point of budgeting is to save money. But I will give you guys an honest update on how my experience is and if I think it's actually worth it to pay for Copilot at the end of the month. If you like personal finance videos like this, please consider subscribing and checking out this video over here that YouTube thinks you might like as well.